I'm not new to this dating game thing, obviously. I've got the salt and pepper in the beard. I've been, I've been out there. Um, online dating profiles. And some of you guys today are funny. You know, I laugh when I hear you all, oh, you know, women today and this and that. And it's a rigged game and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, dating apps suck. And all. It's, it's been that way for a while. I think it was around 2004, 2003, 4, in and around there that they started to get some traction. Um, I was involved in a, a startup in the early 2000s um, dealing with this one called Lemon Tonic, uh, which was, I think, one of the founders came from the Lava Life world. So, the, so these were the two main ones. And everything that I'm about to go through here with you is going to absolutely um, like clarify anything that you need to know and create a little bit of laughs for you along the way when it comes to deciphering the code in the matrix, if you will. Uh, Paul Perry says, I was the ultimate beta. You and Shooter Tomasi basically saved my life. Been through so much crap, but I feel like I'm on the right track. It took me 40 years. Spinning the crap out of plates right now. boy. All right. Let me open up my list because I posted this here on the community tab of the YouTube channel. This is a different community tab from this one, by the way. This one's mine. The one I'm about to show you is the public one. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to rip through these. <laughs> Wild. What do you think that means? Generally, that means... Drinking drug problem, addictive personality, uh, difficult to control, right? Um, you know, you're going to have to reel that one in, if you know what I'm saying. 39 means 50. It's definitely, it definitely doesn't mean 39. 29 doesn't mean 29 and 39 doesn't mean 39. Whenever you see that age on a dating app, it's, it's definitely into the next uh, <laughs> decade that they were born for sure. Um, there's always this like rounding down issues. Matt, like w women tend to lie about their age and their looks. Like they'll use older photography um, or they'll say that the 39, if they're like, you know, 45 or 50 or something like that to try to capture, you know, the younger crowd or to, or to hold out uh, that they're younger than what they actually are. I mean, women inherently know that their true value is in their youth and their beauty and their reproductive rights. I mean, it's been that way for millions of years. Evolutionary psychology has confirmed this. That's why you see this on you know the dating sites uh that way why it's rounded down sort of uh sort of thing uh, oh you want me to share the screen moff sure hold on a second but you don't trust me to read it out you don't like my beautiful voice you just want to read it instead i don't even know if you're going to be able to see this on the screen here let me make it a little bit bigger so this one's my personal list and then i'm going to go through the comments and i'm going to go through the feedback from some of the other guys uh don't waste my time Alpha widowed several times, guaranteed. Um, anytime you see don't waste my time, you're going to be dealing with a demanding, uh, pushy. Um, you might see don't waste my time in conjunction with something else in a bio, like hashtag boss girl, um, you know, stuff like that. They're going to be difficult to deal with. Basically, the translation is they've made some bad choices in life. They don't want to take ownership for it. And, uh, and or they've been alpha widowed several times, but they've got a notch count, you know, up there, which is why they're like trying to push for the good guys, which ultimately they're, you know, it's funny because they push for the good guys on the dating app, especially past the epiphany pay, phase past 30, but they don't really want to be with the good guys. They still want to be with the chads, you know, they still want to be with the, you know, the guys with the broad shoulders, narrow waist, the muscle, chiseled jaw, the deep voice, you know, the guys, you guys know, right? Some of you are those guys, you know, some of you have been those guys about average so whenever you see like average you know as far as a descriptive term used for body type uh, i remember um you know it was like I don't, I don't know what were the options thin average i think they had athletic uh thick um and they've got like something like big and boned or whatever i don't know what the bb whatever it is you know the one i'm talking about you know homie don't mess with anything above average uh, but whenever you see something like above average as a descriptive term, it, it, it generally means like 30 to 60 pounds overweight. Um, love to travel. That means looking for a dude to take me on trips. I'm not even kidding. It, like most of the time when you see these like girls on uh, social media sites like Instagram and stuff like that, and they've got something like I love to travel or they've got a lot of travel photography and they're young, you know, they're clearly not 
uh, self-made or anything like that. Somebody's paying for it. Somebody's paying for it, guaranteed, right? And, and it's generally not her. Uh, again, you know, remember, men are success objects and women are beauty slash sex objects. So those things go in conjunction with one another. You know, a guy has resources, she's got beauty. Let's go travel. It's basically the way that it pans out in those scenarios. Independent. <clears throat> what does that mean? You will decide nothing. <laughs> Uh, and it, and it sometimes means not entirely independent, independent, you know, can sometimes mean, uh, I rely on my ex-husband for child support and alimony, or I rely on my ex-husband, the government for child support, alimony and child tax credits, you know, sort of thing. Um, but, um, yeah, like anybody that's independent doesn't need to declare that they're independent. They just are at the end of the day. I've never, I've never, uh, uploaded a, a dating bio and published it and said independent on it. That's just foolish. I mean, no woman looks for independent, you know, in a guy's quality, but they somehow think that it's something that we, um, you know, look towards. Are you young? Are you hot? Are you thin? Do you know, do you have culinary skills? You know, these are the sorts of like, are you not going to nag me sort of thing? Like, these are the things that we're interested in, right? <laughs> independent equals you will decide nothing. No hookups definitely hooks up if you're a Chad. That's basically what that one means. Um, no hookups is usually closely correlated with don't waste my time. And, uh, you know, she's been, you know, she's racked up a bit of a number, a bit of a body count. Uh, and saying that she's not into the hookups, but she will definitely, absolutely positively hook up if you're a chat. Um, all of you guys out there in the comments, say what's up right now. Confirm, you know, or deny. You tell me. <laughs> Another one of my favorites is get me off this app. All that means is I've been with a lot of dudes here and I'm running out of new inventory to deal with. So get me the hell out of here because I got nothing else. <laughs> uh, Jaren's in the chat. He says no hookups equals she's game to go and usually come right over. Hey, listen, it's happened to all of us at least once. Uh, it's happened at least once if you got some game. Um, get me off this app Been with a lot of guys. Next one. My son Aiden is my world. Translation, you will be an ATM and pay for him. That's basically where we're getting at with this. Stay well away. I mean, I've got it in uh, my 20 red flag chapter in the book. It's red flag number 12, single moms. You guys should not be dealing with single moms on any kind of long-term basis. Short-term dating, fine, you know, if you absolutely have to. Um, but uh, it's, listen, just read the book. The Unplugged Alpha, it's on Amazon, grab it. Uh, You'll understand why it's it's just worth your time in that one. But my son Aiden is my world usually equals you'll be an ATM and, and pay for him. That's essentially what she's looking for. That's what the translation is. It also, you know, essentially means that you will decide nothing. Your opinion means nothing. And you will have to bend the knee to a child that isn't even yours um, most of the time. Right. Kid wants to have a little spaz and brat out. Guess whose side she's going to be on her son Aiden. Right. Beautiful eyes equals fat. <laughs> I've seen this one a few times and um, it's usually cropped out photographs zoomed in right around heavily made up like heavy makeup eyes uh, or you know maybe she's got great eyes like a like a deep blue uh, or like a nice colored green eye sort of thing um, hey listen just make sure you get a head to toe picture before you make any uh, you know calls on the whole beautiful eye thing if you know what I'm saying foodie equals doesn't cook and demands fancy restaurants you pay for. <laughs> I think I, um, I think I shared one of these, um, here on my, uh, Twitter. Let me see if I can find it. It was a, it was a funny meme I got sent to me. You, you guys DM me these things all the freaking time. I got to find it because it exemplifies the whole foodie thing. Uh, there it is. Um, bum, bum, add to stream. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says, it's a, it's a dating profile. It says Courtney age 29. Of course it's always 29, right? Translation. What does that mean? Boys 30, 35. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Her worst. Who the F is Jenna? Dude says my sister place is burning down. You know, she's going nuts over the phone. Her best. I tried to make spaghetti, but burnt it. So now you get to take me out. <laughs> uh foodie doesn't cook and demands fancy restaurants you pay for athletic equals flat chested 
Unless she's had some augmentation work generally, but yeah. It just happens. Ready to settle down. Oh, let me put it back on the screen for you guys. Let's go a little bit bigger. Hopefully you can see it this way. You're going to have to watch it on a console if I do it this way. Uh, ready to settle down. Means that she's been with every alpha. She's been on the carousel and wants a beta male provider now. She wants some guy that's just good enough. I mean, she might already have kids in tow and she doesn't want anymore. She just wants a guy that's just good enough to pay for everything. Or she's got baby rabies and she's looking for a just good enough guy with reasonable genes to reproduce with and have him pay for everything. And 50% of the time, she's going to leave him seven to 10 years down the road. So that's a big translation for ready to settle. But the older that she is, okay, I'm going to say this again. 29 and re ready to settle is not the same thing as 39 ready to settle. I'm going to say this. 31 ready to settle is not the same thing as 41 ready to settle. Ready to settle 41 is a dangerous ready to settle. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Understand that. Boss girl equals disagreeable and annoying. You ever see those hashtag boss girls? I'm a boss girl. Do, 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 do. She's, a disagree she's disagreeable and she's annoying. Trust me. Alpha woman. That's one of my favorites. By the way, there is no such thing as an alpha woman. Okay. Um, there's just women. There's some difficult women, but you can't. I mean, they think that they're alphas. I went out and got my law degree, so now I'm a lawyer. I went out and got my accounting degree, so now I'm an accountant. I went out and I'm a C-suite, blah, blah, blah. I'm an alpha woman. Just understand that just means bossy AF. Adventurous equals ho. Oh. <laughs> I know my worth equals I think I'm a queen, and you should too. Generally speaking, when somebody is worth something, they don't walk around saying, I know my worth. Now, a few years into a relationship and somebody's being taken advantage of and they need to put their foot down and say, look, lady, I know my worth. Or maybe she says it to him sort of thing. That's a different story. But you do not go and declare, I know my worth in a dating bio. Because that means that she's an entitled brat, generally speaking. She thinks that she's a queen and, and she believes that you should believe so as well. Bubbly equals won't stop talking. <laughs> hey, where are the lies? You know, you guys tell me in the comments. It's, you know, the chat is, is there. You, you let me know. Financially independent equals getting alimony and child support. 